we're back again. Uh, I've changed up my charms to better explore the um, Kingdom's Edge, which is where I'm headed next. In order to get a key item, uh, I needed to proceed to get a Shade Cloak. Uh, this is not uh, necessary, technically. You can get uh, you can get uh, Ismus here or Shade Cloak. I'm going to get both. Let uh, me get Shade Cloak first. I find it. Uh, I don't know more entertaining to get. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Royal Waterways, and that's where I'm going to have to go to get Ismus here, uh, which I will get at some point, maybe next. Um, who knows? Actually, <laughs> if I had Ismus here, I wouldn't have to go down like I do now. There's a bit of acid that I could swim through instead. But here we are. I don't. I'm gonna go this way. Alright, so we gotta go over, then up to the top, and then over and right. Okay. Uh, I might not have mentioned this when I got the uh, cyclone, but you can use it to um, continue, or you can cause it to continue, rather, by continuing to mash the attack button while it's going. So you may hear, hear me going click, 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 when I use it. Uh, just, yeah, it lets you turn it into Cuisinart mode. Uh, really helps with certain enemies, uh, not recommended with others. But the, that describes that particular nail art altogether anyway. So there's a spot right there where you can use the Shade Cloak, which we'll be getting uh, probably this video. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long to do everything I need to do to get it. Oh, mistakes were made. That was a lot of Geo that I didn't want to give up, apparently. And that's okay. Um, one of the things, like I say, is I'm trying not to do a grinding thing, but I, uh, I'll take Geo where I can take oh. I think a seal or something here. Oh yeah, that's somewhere I can get a ton of money, probably. How have I been doing for that? Oh, I've been doing well for selling those off. I got about uh, 1,800 geo worth of sellables. So I could go get the uh, thing from the fountain in the previous video that I skipped. Uh, but I'm not going to right now. Is it probably I really don't like these. <laughs> Have I mentioned that? They're, they're just obnoxious. They're worth putting a spell into for sure. Uh, a spell I haven't upgraded yet, so I might as well just use now. It's never mind. Uh, I cannot upgrade this spell until I finish the little side quest I'm on right now, actually. I can go up this way. I have Monarch Wings, which are actually required to get up here anyway, if I recall. And Nail Arts are great for dealing with them, uh, as you can see. One hit with a great slash. Yeah, there we go. Monarch Wings gets you up here. Let's you bounce the ball. No, you can probably get that bench with Monarch Wings. But anyway, from the bench up here to this breakable ceiling. Oh, some sort of Wanderer's Journal, probably. Yeah. There we go, I'm at 2,000 Geo worth of sellables. Zoom, we hit this bench. Oh, uh, sorry. Apologies for wasting time with that load screen again, but I'm going to change up my build. I won't need that, won't need that. I'm um, probably not gonna make great use of that. Um, what will I want here? I could do this. I'm not going to use that. I'm really thinking out loud here. Um, why not? Why don't we do this? Um, so I mentioned, you know, fights where you're worried about not getting to heal much. This is a fight where I can find healing opportunities, but a lot of players won't. So what I put on here, um, Joni's Blessing, as you can see, gave me just a ton of masks. 
I won't be able to heal those masks, but I'm only doing one fight, um, very little exploration. These spikes are the only hazard along the way. You can guess now who that fight is against. Uh, and she fights, she goes a lot harder than she went last time, so I should, between spells and just hitting her as much as I can, I should be able to take her pretty effectively. I gotta I still have to not chase her. She has a lot of moves that are uh, fairly dangerous if you're gonna chase her, but that said, oh, like that. <laughs> oh, wow. Chasing her and stuff. I was, but uh. Okay. Oh, that will wreck you if you let it. Oh. Well, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> she got me. Uh, I'm gonna change my build. No, I'm just gonna try and be a little more careful about fighting her. I should be fine. Uh, there are things that, if you're really struggling here, there are things you can do. There's still two more charm notches to get another nail upgrade to get. Uh, that can all be done before you fight her. Uh, just at this point, I should not be failing. <laughs> Boom. Get her. Um, one fail is okay. Uh, a, oh no! I just did that. A, a series of consecutive fails. Is not so. Try to heal there for a second. Wait, can't do that. And then heal term. So maybe that was a mistake. Just from my habits. Next to nothing left to spare, but that's okay. Um, that was not graceful. It wasn't a great demonstration of how to beat her. Be much more patient than I was. Uh, learn from my mistakes. Anyway, nothing, uh, nothing bad is going to happen, right? We're just going into the carcass of a dead worm. Thankfully, there are no encounters in here. Uh, you take the thing. King's brand. There we go. Now the. Uh, Kingdom's gates will open. There's really only one spot I can pick up. I don't know if you walk out of here and I just use this because it's faster. Uh, but you're going to get collapsed on no matter what happens. And then, ooh, big sister to the rescue. Actually, there's a lot of like ambiguity with the lore of this game. Like, there, There's theories on whether or not the knight here is even technically related to the Hollow Knight um, directly. It's, it's weird stuff, but in theory, if the Knight, based on some visions and lore and stuff, uh, is, is the Hollow Knight's sibling, um, then that makes Hornet a half-sister. Alright, um, where are we going next? I'm going down to the Abyss, so things that are going to be useful going in there. Oh. You know what? 
not this so much. Um, this more so, I don't know. Uh, let's just get good nail stuff, there. There, um, so there's, there's enemies down there. The bulk of the enemies that I'm gonna face once I get past a certain point don't generate soul for hitting them, so there's no real sense in of course, we're not there yet, but anyway, there's no real sense in having things to gather soul or utilize it. Um, and through here, it doesn't matter that much. Other than particularly spell built, I guess. So we're gonna go down. Hack our way through all this. Oh. Use that spike unintentionally to kill him. having someone else to be on chat with me. Uh, it's, it's small talk easier, to be honest. Uh, what have I been doing? No, I got a new, uh, new transfer oven because my old one, the door, wouldn't stay closed. Flop open, so we had like a, an old stiletto holding it open. Um, or holding it closed, rather, when we were not using it or when we were. Uh, so I had to go get a new one. And uh, this one is much nicer. <laughs> that one, my wife estimates at about 15 years old. Uh, makes sense, probably not too long after we moved in together, we would have got that. Um, anyway, new one has a like air fry setting and uh, it's just got a much bigger capacity. It holds a rotisserie. Well, yeah, I think a smaller game bird chickens will fit in it. You know, you're not going to rotisserie a turkey, but it certainly fit. Oh, yeah, this long nail uh, quick slash is great. Uh, anyway, sorry, you can certainly fit a decent sized little chicken. A five pounder or something in there. I'm going to try it. Soon. I have to do a grocery run soon anyway, so maybe I'll get said. Uh, okay, we're platforming our way back up to City of Tears, to King Station, uh, where we're gonna actually just pass through, because we're heading back down to the... Screech! Uh, we're heading back down to the Abyss. This is through... well... Oh, why did I do that? I'm foolish, that's why. Uh, the Abyss is... Uh, the bottom part of Ancient Basin that we didn't even bother to go look at last time. Because I know, as an experienced Hollow Knight player, that there's no point. There's a bit of lore stuff, and uh, maybe a little geo deposit or something, but I've got to go down there this time anyway. So stopping off here, grab the bench, get those masks back, and head on down. fellas. They're great for Geo. Uh, this is a fantastic place if you're comfortable fighting here to farm Geo quickly. Stop back at King Station, do a loop of this whole place. Come back and do it again. Yeah, that nail upgrade's nice. <laughs> Along with using nail arts a little more regularly. Um, which is something, as a player, I'm still growing. Uh, I find that there's a lot of boss fights and a lot of other encounters where you need to use up slash and down slash. Uh, and that got me away from using too many nail arts because you cannot up slash or down slash with nail arts. So it's especially important with down slashing uh, on spikes and things during a fight if you had to do that. But. Sorry. Uh, but. A lot of, a lot of um, ground level fights. Those uh, nail arts are just great. They really speed them up. Uh, wow, that didn't go as nicely as I would have liked. Uh, that spell is going to get so much more powerful in about three, four minutes. <laughs> so much more powerful. 
once I make my way down to the bottom of Ancient Basin and the Abyss. I could have sold stuff and got Geo and thrown them in this fountain here, but I will need that Geo for other things, so uh, I don't think I've bought everything off of Sly yet, for example. So we're back in Ancient Basin and we're going down, down to here. Show, oh, I don't have a, what? Don't have a map for this area? Hmm. Wait, did I not get Cornifer? <laughs> I never stopped and got Cornifer. Um, yeah. So we'll take a little side track. He's, he's not far. Oh, wouldn't have been far, except I missed him. So what I do, we'll do is pick this up. And we'll see corn, or we'll see his map uh, when I go back to Dartmouth at the end of this video. No big deal. Did I? No, I didn't. No. Whoops. That wasn't what I meant to do. No, I do not have. Uh, I was trying to see if I had a, a teleport ability that I'm going to unlock a bit later in this playthrough. I did not have it yet. Just this. Uh, oh. Yeah, you'll see. There's a there's part of this that is much easier, less obnoxious, um, if you can teleport. Uh, like, getting back out for one thing. But also there's a thing down here that... Whoa, I'm falling. Okay. Um, it's nothing quite like having all these extra mobility things, but they're only usable once per jump or fall. And every once in a while, you go from super maneuverable to falling helplessly. Gee, how much geo is that? 35? 36? Not bad. Uh, yeah, you want to be careful with the falling in here. Especially because I do need some soul for other things and the fact that I can't collect any after these guys. Okay, there's a thing right here. Uh, that's all of it you need to see right now, because uh, I don't have what I need. You need 15 lifeblood hearts to open that up. Uh, I don't have 15 lifeblood hearts. There's a couple ways you can do that. The real obnoxious way would be to go collect 15 lifeblood hearts from like trees and stuff. Trees? Yeah, lifeblood trees. That's what they're called, right? I don't know. Um, that would be the real obnoxious way to do that. I'm. Uh, I'm going to do the, the more standard way, which is to use Joni's Charm and uh, Lifeblood, not Lifeblood Core, uh, the other Lifeblood Charm there. Anyway, that should get me up to what I need. Yeah, I think that'll get me pretty much exactly what I need. And, um, but I'm not going to do that until I have the teleport ability, because I just set a teleport point there and then go to a bench, do the thing, get all my lifeblood, and then teleport there. This is cool. Uh, look around at the background. There's actually a good visual cue here for what this is. I didn't get that at first, but once you do know, it's pretty simple. So that spell just went from being really underwhelming to three times that same really underwhelming spell all at once, uh, which makes it good, especially if you have Shaman Stone equipped. It's really just a devastating spell to use on uh, flying or floating enemies. Like Most of the Dream Warriors just sort of float overhead. If you jump up under their butt, slash them, uh, then throw one of those at them, you're going to do so much damage. It works very fast to beat most of the Dream Warriors. Uh, there's one or two that it's not a great tactic on. Yeah, so, that's not water, by the way. That is Living Void, and it wants to kill everything that's not also Living Void. There's more on that later. We're gonna go, speaking of Living Void, siblings. Um, so these are siblings to the Hollow Knight, and most likely to how you interpret the lore, which is intentionally ambiguous, uh, most likely also siblings of the Knight. Using nail arts like crazy here, just to 
avoid getting swarmed. And yeah. Every once in a while I'll just pick off one. So as you can see there are two hits. But you can just throw them in the Cuisinart. Speaking of which, uh not a Cuisinart, but I also during my small appliance shopping trips, I uh, ended up getting a new blender because that's been broken for months and it just somehow came up with the disposable income to replace it. Boom, so we've got a lighthouse on now. You notice the siblings seem to be quieted down as well as this awful lake here which we didn't go look at beforehand. It's pretty cool though, but basically it'll just lash out at you to try to go across like this. It'll it'll put you back on the shore uh, after extracting a mask of damage as payment for your silliness. Uh, there's a oh, yeah, there's a spot here we get back we get through later. Um, put a map pin on but can't spot here I can get through my oh right no later as well. That's what we're here for isn't it? The shade cloak. Um, I was going to be like, hur, hur, much later when I get the shade cloak, uh, which is exactly what I'm doing right this instant. Er, er, oh, ow, oh, oh, don't, ah, oh. shade cloak, boom. It's a pretty nifty ability, aside from getting through those black barriers you'll find around, uh, it, you can dream nail this guy. Do it, it's cool. Uh, apparently my dream nail's not strong enough to get in. So you can get past this and monsters and all kinds of things. Those arcane eggs are worth 1,200 GL piece. Not bad. Go up here. This black barrier, right through it. Uh, I think this might just be a lore room, but it might have some other stuff. Oh no, it's a uh, right hunter's journal entry. So, and yes, lore because of that. I was hopeful I'd get a grub, but no, it makes sense. There's no grubs down in this place. It's too awful that you can keep a grub. Now, this game is full of awful places where they keep grubs anyway. But who would even do that? Some sort of lunatic who collects grubs and distributes them around the world. Who may actually be the hero of the story because of things that don't go back to the grub father once you give him all 46. Just don't. Just don't. All right. Oh. What am I doing? Okay. Uh, I've got the shape cloak now. So yeah, it, it goes right through enemies as long as their hitbox isn't too huge. It um, gets you through those barriers. There's a neat charm upgrade you can get now uh, that you have to go through one of the barriers to get. Uh, called Sharp Shadow. We'll get that soon enough. Um, but it lets you do basically a nail strike every time you Sharp Shadow, or every time you uh, uh, shade cloak through an enemy, as long as your shade cloak is shade cloak is cooled down. Uh, worth noting that shade cloak has a see how that when I use it, there's a visual there. That's when it's on again. That's when I'm allowed to get those invincibility frames again. Uh, so between those, if I do dash again, it's just going to be a regular dash. I don't know. Can anyone, uh, I don't know, comment if you know, <laughs> anyone have a use for Dash Master aside from the fact that it increases sharp shadow damage a little bit? Because I honestly oh, I have never found a use for that charm. Um, I've just, I've tried it out. It doesn't feel like it's significantly faster dashing uh, or like you're dashing significantly more often than you'd otherwise be allowed to. Maybe I'm just too slow on my trigger presses. Don't know. And it certainly doesn't affect Shade Cloak because the cooldown doesn't get any faster. Which would be broken. I would use that so much if it did that. I don't know. I know it I know it technically increases the damage of Sharp Shadow if you have that equipped. But that's a four charm commitment to like a one trick. And admittedly, I use um, Dream Shield that way but dream shield does a lot of other things too so i don't feel weird committing that many charm notches to the stunt um dream, nail, er, dream shield will get 
blocks in on projectiles. It'll hit bosses, particularly those with big uh, hitboxes, uh, pretty regularly. And if they're a boss that uh, jumps around you a lot, even more so. Yeah, I don't know. Whereas uh, Dashmaster just doesn't feel like it does anything to me. Oh uh, well, yeah, I was saying about the fountain I could throw money into, but eh, I don't have enough money on me. We'll get back to that at some point. Uh, was this, this, I guess, was everything I was going to do in this video. So, I hope that was helpful. It's uh, real good stuff to have. I can take this, take these abilities and go all kinds of places with them. But uh, I think next up I'm going to do the Isma's Tear stuff. Why not? Uh, thanks for watching.